Al Wagner, who was our director of athletics uh, for decades, as far as I recall, and a wonderful human being. We were playing a varsity baseball game at home against Western High School, and game time was three o'clock on Satterley Field. And it was time to start the game, and our first string pitcher, who was Voris Conrad, <laughs> class of 1950, he could throw the ball. We didn't measure speed, of course, in those days. They didn't know it, do it in the big leagues. Uh, but I think Voris, as a, a junior in high school, threw the ball probably about 98 miles an hour. He was phenomenal, our first string pitcher. But he didn't show up. So Wagner said to our second string pitcher, he said, you get in there and pitch. And uh, he did and his only ability was to throw the ball down the middle of the plate. Western is the visiting team's leadoff hitter, hit the ball square into center field, 400 feet, and our junior center fielder, George Mitchell, ran back and caught the ball, one out, one pitch. Second batter, exactly the same thing. Ball down the middle of the plate, 400 feet to dead center, Mitchell hauls it in, third, same thing. Three pitches. Ball travels 1,200 feet. Three outs. Western goes field. We got up, and somehow we scored two runs, and uh, Voris Conrad appears. He shows up in his baseball uniform ready to pitch. The only thing is he has lipstick all over his <laughs> He comes in out of the Satterley Woods. We all knew he had a beautiful girlfriend at Washington and Lee High School who had a convertible, and he tucked his shirt in, and Wagner said, put the ball in his mitt, get out there and pitch. We played seven inning games. Voris had six innings to pitch. Six times three outs an inning is 18. Voris struck out 17 people. We won the game two to nothing. And the next day in the evening, the evening star, and these were the days when high school prep school coaches knew the writers personally who were running the sports page. Wagner had obviously called in his report on the game. St. Albans beats Western, no hitter. And the headline read, because I had been the second string pitcher who threw the three pitches down the middle, which were hit 1,200 feet for, th for three straight outs. The headline read, first page, sports page, Shorb and Conrad combined to pitch no hitter as Saints beat Western <laughs> two to nothing. And then he gave an autographed copy of the... Uh, of the uh, sports story, Voris Conrad. Here I'm sharing e equal position with Voris, <laughs> who struck out 17 of 18 people <laughs> for a credit for a no-hitter. And that's all he ever said to Voris Conrad. He never said a word to him about, you be on time, you don't have a pre-game date with your girlfriend. He says, here's your headline. And I thought that was just fabulous. <laughs>